E-Day is here. After tonight, we'll know who our next governor and lieutenant governor will be. Well, there's so much going on behind the scenes that led up to this moment. Last night, GC officials held an emergency meeting to try and fill empty precinct official slots. There are up to 53 empty spots. Each precinct needs at least five officials. GC board members stated that they had enough officials on hand, but within the last 48 hours, they had been pulling out. The Democratic Party was able to volunteer a list of 41 names to help fill the void. The Republicans also contributed an undetermined number of names. Their next order of business was to run a test on the ballot machines. After completing a batch of sample ballots, they were processed through the machine. So far, so good. As of this morning, most of the precinct voids were filled and the poll sites were up and running. Well, um, I went to Timuning with two other commissioners. Uh, we knew that would be a problem, so we were able to uh, deputize voters in the line and get all the vote, all the precincts open at seven. I've been through all three uh, polling areas in Dedido, um, and then now here in Jigo. And um, some precincts are operating with uh, four or five officials here in Jigo. Um, there are a few more precinct officials we're trying to get. Um, we're having a hard time getting people to volunteer because of All Souls Day. And some precinct officials told Newswatch that another big factor in the low precinct official turnout could be the low pay for the long hours worked. Tenorio was aware of all of this and said that they are looking into possible solutions for the next election. Keeping it local for Guam News Watch, I'm Chris Ampinko.